Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. We're looking at time series data and today we're exploring the trend. So a reminder that the variable we're investigating is the surface area of sea ice. And this is measured in millions of square kilometres. Our data itself has been collected monthly. So if we go to our graph, we'll notice that the data starts in January 1990 and it continues until December 2018. The solid black line in the middle is the trend line. This is an average of our data values. So the trend value starts in 1990 in January with an average surface area of around 11.4 million square kilometres. It remains fairly steady and has dropped very slightly to an average surface area of around 11.1 million square kilometres by December 2018. Looking at the next graph, we can see that the data is spread over 28 years. So what we want to do is we want to calculate the gradient of this. So when we calculate the gradient, we've noticed that our surface area reduced from 11.4 million square kilometres to 11.1 million square kilometres. So we're going to subtract those two and then divide that by the time period, which in this case is 28 years. Now this will give us an average change of 0 0.011 million square kilometres per year. Now that's a number that's hard to try and get our head around, 0 0.011 million square kilometres. So I'm going to change that, convert that from millions of square kilometres into thousands of square kilometres. So I'm going to multiply by a thousand and a thousand. And when I do that, that will give me an average of 11,000 square surface area of 11,000 square kilometres per year. So we can say that our surface area is reducing over this period of time by an average of 11,000 square kilometres per year. <laughs> 